Yes, yes, yes. Week nine is finally here. Yes, the Jags is taking on the Bengals Sunday, which is today. Yes, so the Jags get to play today. Finally, it's been two weeks since the Jags have gotten to play. Uh, I know everybody hates the bye week, especially being a diehard fan like I am with the Jags. You know, having a bye week is like the worst thing, you know, uh, having to suffer those two weeks. But the Jags get healthy as a team. You know, things move forward. Especially feels good to have a win, you know, or have a winning record going into the bye week. So that's always a good thing. So, you know, can't complain about that. But uh, just moving forward with the Cincinnati game, kind of want to preview the game a little bit, uh, talk about the players on each team, you know, kind of talk about how we can win this game. Uh, but first, I want to talk about the players we're getting back um, on offense, Leonard Fournette and um, Cam Robinson. You know, it's really unfortunate we don't have to get, uh, we don't get to have D.D. Westbrook come back. He would have been really, like, really, really beneficial to us. Um, but it's all good, uh, you know, we just, but just moving forward with us, we had to focus on running the ball, you know, keep that consistency with Fournette and Chris Ivory. So uh, that'll, you know, that'll carry us like it has been all season. So I have no problem with that. But um, he'll probably play next week versus the, versus the uh, Chargers at home. But uh, just move forward with Fournette and Cam Robinson. They've been consistent for us all year. So it's great to see those guys healthy and ready to go. You know, for these last eight games, you know, we need to really stay healthy to make this playoff push. So. Um, this game is just going to be another um, uh, game on the journey for their, uh, you know, for our success to try to make this playoff run. So um, I expect us to run the ball heavy with Fournette um, once again. So um, now just talking about the defense a little bit, you know, bo uh, well, both of our wins or two of our wins um, off of our four wins have been off 10 sack games. So we've really been putting pressure on the quarterback a lot in our, in our wins. So I think that's really going to be the key in this game. Andy Dalton, has shown that he can turn the ball over a lot. So if we start to put pressure on him, you know, things can happen. So, you know, it's going to be really exciting to see the defense kind of show his, show his muscle a little bit. You know, he had two weeks to kind of brag about him a little bit. So, you know, here we go. Let's go prove it on the field. All that talking in during the bye week, you know, let's go prove it on the field, especially with the Marcel Darius or Marcel Darius trade. Um, yeah, you know, I would be very, very scared if I was these offenses, offenses in the NFL. So, uh, as far as Cincinnati is concerned, they do have a good defensive line with Geno Atkins and with uh, Carlos Dunlap. They are a little bit scary on that D-line, so Blake Bortles has to watch out as well. They can not put pressure on you. But I think we're just going to really neutralize all that with the running game and kind of get quick passes to get the ball out of Blake Bortles' hands. Um, so, you know, we're going to see. Hopefully Bortles don't turn the ball over. You know, I expect us to win this game pretty big. Um, I expect us to win the game 24-10. to 10. So Jaguar fans should be excited. We're gonna be five and three. I'm already predicting it. <laughs> so uh, I think Jaguar fans really, really uh, should be excited the way this team, you know, uh, the, the direction the team is going. In. Um, hopefully, this will be another win on the resume, and then that means we'll win at home. So we'll finally break that curse of having to lose all the time at home. It seems like every time we play in Jacksonville, we have our worst games. So hopefully, that you know gets turned around. But that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the game. I know I will. I'll be at the bank. Hopefully you guys are there. But other than that, go Jags.